and so here it is this is the Anna box if you look at it you'll see the form factor is quite recognizable it's very very much in the Hannah style um, so let's see what it's got how it works have a look inside across the top here you will see the fire button up and down and the display as you would expect is here now then let's hit the display first and you will notice as soon as I press the button that it says hello smoker there's no evolve logo on there so it's a clone in form factor um, and you'll also see that the display looks very very familiar as in the original um, Evolve DNA 40 style. Um, build quality I think is probably the next place to go as I say the, 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 the way it's put together is very simple you've got your USB charge port there display fire up and down so let's get into the back of it and see what is there it comes with one of these little blue handle screwdrivers so let's use what it comes with it doesn't come with a battery you have to put your own in so let's undo the screws and lift off the lid as one does and I've put in a an AWT battery into this let's take it out so that you can see more accurately what's going on and if we tip it up you will see that everything's colour coded and very well marked up so red is obviously where your positive is going to go and black is where the negative needs to go so positive at this end the top where you would expect it negative at that end which has just reminded me this is the 510 connector as you'll be able to see slightly recessed but not still unfortunately movable it, uh, it is what it is now you'll see that there's a, a warranty void seal on there I am going to take not a blind but a notice of that and I'm going to have that off because I want you to see what's going on under the hood as it were so that's going to require that we take the warranty seal out of action and lever this plastic piece out which it actually does lever out quite easily along the base of this is that there's all these little bits sticking down and if you look internally you can see that the bits that stick down match up with where the little buttons are the firing up and down buttons that makes sure that they stay in place a bit better but if you look at what's going on there that's really quite tidy um, I would have liked to have seen heat shrink on these legs which isn't there um, the charge port as you probably see has a piece of double sided sticky tape and it's not all that well held in as you can see it's it's moving now um, let's get that back into position because that needs to be where it needs to be and of course when this goes back on when this lid goes back on uh, that holds everything into the place where it's meant to be that's why it's there and that I think is probably a good addition uh, it's going to stop things from sliding about where they don't need to be sliding about and eclipsing quite firmly and you can see then straight away that it's put the USB socket where it needs to be so let's put a battery in it in this case it's an AWT IMR as you'll be able to see um, not supplied as I say so we'll put that in place the right way up and no I'm not going to take a chance on putting it in the wrong way up I'm pretty sure that that protection does not exist and we'll stick the lid back on and screw it down with the screwdriver so that it's ready to go right now I'm going to take 
this which is a sub tank which is sat on a proper evolved DNA 40. I'll turn it the right way up so that you can see what's going on and you can see that I've got this set at 18.9 400 degrees Fahrenheit and it's a 0 0.21 ohm coil that is in there and uh, if you're not sure it's a, it's a recoiled OCC coil so we'll take that off and I'm going to keep that in view while I bring in the AB box 0.21 ohms remember was what that was set at and we'll uh, replicate the rest of the settings when we get there so they are still in view and it's going on to the AB box now so there it is and let's press the button and see what comes up hello smoker and you can see new coil up which it is so let's press up and let's make sure I've got the settings the same 18.9 come back down very very quick to scroll is this 18.9 now you will see that I have it set to 460 and it is showing 0.21 so let's try it out and see exactly what it will do so here we are then with the the box itself the AB box let's give it a blast and see how it works So far that's doing exactly what I would expect of it. Producing voluminous quantities of vapour. Um, I suppose I really ought to knock it back down to the 450 volts, uh, 450 degrees Fahrenheit that the other one was set at. To do that, it's five clicks of the fire button and then you will see it says locked click fire and if we hold both of the buttons down it allows you to set the temperature and I'm going to set that down to 450 so it's the down button that takes it to 450 and you press the fire button and that's it set and then five clicks and you're back in normal mode ready to be used And again, very, very pleasant. And voluminous quantities of vapour from this particular setup. The 18.9 watt single coil in an OCC, 0.21 ohms. Gotta be honest, I'm probably gonna get uh, too far of a nick hit. Complete inability to blow smoke rings, vapor rings, rings of any description. Um I was in two minds about this particular device earlier on in the week when it arrived because with a self-wound coil that was closer to 0.34 ohms I couldn't get it to work reliably yet with this 0.21 it's working really well now one of the original problems with the first version was when you press the button after it had gone into standby mode as it has now it wouldn't come back straight into usable mode but now that's been fixed single press of the button and it is usable and it's working straight away as you would expect which is a good thing 
there'll be more on this in the live show as I hand it back across to myself and Keith in the studio but up until then this seems okay certainly for the price um, the fire button is relatively comfortable I prefer a bigger one the up and down buttons work the way they are supposed to work and certainly in nickel coil mode in an OCC in the sub tank it's doing the job it's supposed to do which is quite nice 